Hi friends. So today I'm going to read a story to you. Um, it's called, What Do You Do With an Idea? And I'm reading this story because we've been thinking a lot about writing and how hard it is to come up with an idea. And what do we do with that idea once we have it? And what will people think about our idea? Well, I want you to learn a little something from this book here, and hopefully it will help you in your journey to become brave writers. What do you do with an idea? One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? See his idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. Did you ever do that? Have an idea and then be like, huh? And leave it where it, went, where it came up? But it followed me. Following him. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. I think once an idea comes, it will never be the same as it was before. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food, it wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger. And we became friends. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid that they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I, I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars and a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. 
Isn't it fun to hear different ideas and see things in a different way? I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then, one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. And that is what you can do with an idea. You, writers, can change the world. You and your ideas in those writer's notebooks, on the paper that we continuously write on, you, in a very small way, starting right now in fifth grade, are changing the world. It may not seem like it, but it's true. You have all these wonderful ideas floating around in your head. You have all these experiences, all these things that have happened in your life so far in these last nine or 10 years. And because you have all of those ideas and all of those experiences and you're writing them down, you are starting to change the world that you live in. You're starting to change your own world. And maybe someday those ideas will become huge. And maybe someday those ideas will grow. And maybe someday those ideas will take a new form and a new shape and change the world that you live in. So keep writing, writers. Put down those ideas. Put down those thoughts. Be a person that takes their idea and changes the world.